My lovely, lovely imps, history is unraveling in real time before our very eyes. Everything matters and nothing matters. We live in a clown period of time. The age of rot is truly upon us. And you might be wondering, what of the many events that I was sick for am I talking about? Well, right now, I'm talking about the fact that Joe Biden is sick. That's right. Just moments before I started streaming today to record this video, Joe Biden announced, I'm sick. I'm, no, I'm not even joking with you. He literally just said, I'm sick on Twitter. That, that, he just said, I'm sick. Now, of course, the news got out before he said, I'm sick, that Joe Biden has tested positive for COVID. Um, this has now been reported in basically every single major news, um, uh, major news outlet. Uh, Joe Biden tested positive for COVID and had to leave the event that he was at early. Now, this is really bad. It's, it's horrible for Joe Biden. For the rest of us, it's really hard to know exactly what this will mean. Um, because, of course, uh, Joe Biden is in the middle of uh, a total upheaval uh, in his electorate and in his own party. Joe Biden's uh, continued bungling of public events, his clear mental decline, has become a matter of increasing concern and interestingly, uh, even though uh, at the time of this video coming out and the time of this stream recording, we have not yet actually even discussed the assassination attempt that was made against Donald Trump, um, despite, we're going to talk about that shortly, I assure you, but uh, despite that event occurring, Joe Biden has not been able to shake the controversy within his own party. And in fact, it's very strange this morning with almost cosmic timing, Joe Biden made the following statement. Joe Biden said, medical conditions could prompt him to drop out if doctors came to him. Now this was reported by a number of different outlets, um, but uh, he explicitly stated um, in an interview that if medical doctors came forward and said that he that he had a medical condition that he would step down and of course uh just after this started hitting the news this actually happens unbelievable cosmic timing he said that yeah he said that it was during i think he actually said it during the bet interview he did which was i think a couple of days ago uh, i don't remember the exact date of that one it was when he actually said that but um People actually started talking about it. It was reported in a couple of news outlets today. It was when I saw people talking about it. And of course, then later today, just a few hours ago, uh, he was diagnosed with COVID. Now, Joe Biden is a very old man, okay? And it is true that he has presidential level medical care. But we have already witnessed that Joe Biden has been struggling. We, uh, he claims that it was a cold that led to his um, severe decline in performance at the debate. Um, and COVID is significantly worse than a cold. COVID is worse than a flu. His age, his current wellness, and the fact that he just announced that he has COVID all spell a, continuingly, a continuing worsening situation for Joe Biden. Um, and in this particular moment, I can't help but feel that basically all of us, and most certainly Joe Biden, have one particular thing echoing through our minds. <laughs> the specter of a coconut. That's right. The calls for Joe Biden to step down have only intensified and the 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 rustling sounds of the coconut trees grow louder by the moment as the obvious uh the the obvious you know heir to joe biden's position would be kamala harris 
Uh, in the last couple of days since I uh, was last able to stream, because I myself was sick, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm young! And I had to take time off for that shit. And not running for president. I just run a show on the internet. Um, but in that time, a number of polls have come forward showing that Kamala continues to do as well or better against Trump than Joe Biden, which is a, a pretty obvious sign that the time right now, if everything that the Democrats have said is true, and they also believe it, now would be the time to put Kamala up and have Joe step down. Um, will that happen? You know, I'm sorry. It is, um, it is just very difficult to know, uh, what is going to happen at all at any point on any topic right now with regard to American politics. However, there are a number of things that I want to talk about with regard to that end. That is also one from an, an hour ago. Oh, CNN. According to CNN, Biden asked his advisors if Harris could win the election. That was just from an hour ago that CNN reported receiving that information. So, wow. All right. It's, it's, it's intensifying. <laughs> whew, whew. Here we go. So, but that's not the only thing, okay? So we got, apparently, according to CNN, we got Joe Biden asking about whether Kamala can win. But there's more. We also had Adam Schiff formally step forward and ask Joe Biden to step down. That's right. As reported in the LA Times, Representative Adam Schiff uh, came forward and formally asked Joe Biden to step down. Which means that he's joining a increasingly large amount of representatives who have been w willing to step forward. Um, it's actually, I think the number is, let me see if we can get a, a full number on that. I want to see if we can get that number. I don't know. 22, according to the Washington Post. According to the Washington Post, there have been 22 Democratic representatives who have come forward and formally publicly risked their reputation asking Joe Biden to step down. So, and this is all, of course, like I said, post the, uh, uh, the assassination attempt, attempt against Donald Trump, which the Democrats seemed to initially think would basically put the question down. But um, actually, as it turns out, no, it didn't. Everyone still knows that now more than ever, we need someone other than Joe Biden to be carrying the competition against Donald Trump on the federal level. Okay, yeah, here's further details on that, by the way. Jeff, Z Jeff Zeleny says on CNN, President Biden is more receptive to the push for him to leave the ticket. He has gone from saying Kamala can't win to asking his advisors if Kamala Harris can win. Okay, to be fair, more receptive or less defiant is a very good first question to that, which is what this commenter here says. Yeah, it is a matter of genuine defiance. And we were going to, I'm actually going to talk about some of the things that he did recently that indicates where he's at. So here's another thing, okay? We got another little bit towards the Biden is going to be uh, 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 stepping down. Here we go. This is according to ABC News. According to ABC News, U.S. Senate Democratic leader uh, Schumer told Biden uh, in, uh, on, in a private meeting on Saturday that it would be better for the country if he ended his re-election bid. So now that's not a public statement, but it has been reported on by, you know, credible news uh, agencies that Senator Schumer... Uh, is also privately asking Joe Biden to step down, which is absurd that we're getting to this point. 
Sonia Forest Guardian says, even uh, Demon Mama, even if Biden steps down due to Trump's assassination attempt, Trump will still win. That attempt single-handedly won Trump the presidency. I don't agree. I do don't agree. I didn't agree the day of. I wish I could have come on stream to yell about it the day that it happened, but we have a whole segment dedicated to that coming soon. So keep your eyes right here if you want to hear me yell about that because I don't agree at all. I don't think that's true. In fact, the fact that most everyone has already stopped giving a shit about the, the assassination attempt indicates to me that it, it actually probably won't move the needle all that much. But we'll get into that. We'll, d we'll jump into that full in a minute. We got to finish talking about this. So Adam Schiff came out. Word came out that Schumer is privately directly asking Joe Biden to step down. And, and we have reports that Pelosi might be working to take, to, to, to advise Biden to step down. This is from Politico. <clears throat> Let me just get the quote here. I want to make sure that, we, that I get the quote correctly. Here we go. Former Speaker Nancy Pelosi, convinced that Biden will lose, has been working the phone since June 27th in hopes of finding a way to ease him off the tickets. One of her colleagues was struck to see her chatting furtively but openly with Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries last week in a corner of the House Democratic cloakroom in plain sight of a dozen lawmakers. The extent of Pelosi's behind-the-scenes roles hasn't been fully revealed and may never be if the former speaker has her way. But I'm told by people familiar with the exchange that she stage-managed phone calls to Jeffries, plotted strategy with the biggest names in the Democratic politics, and told one former elected official bluntly that Biden's legacy cannot destroy the party now of course these statements occurred before the attempt against Donald Trump so it's possible that Pelosi has changed since then but I don't think that's the case if we now have word you know if Schiff went forward uh, you know Schiff, Adam Schiff being a, a Democratic insider and Schumer being the Democratic insider if Schiff and Schumer are both pushing forward, I think it's very unlikely that Pelosi has changed her position, which means that some of the most important voices within the Democratic Party are now convinced that Donald, that Donald Trump will beat Joe Biden. Joe Biden cannot beat Donald Trump. Which is wild and interesting. Now, for a lot of this, the last month or so, it has seemed like there was no possibility that Joe Biden would actually be forced to step down. But as time goes on, it is becoming increasingly inarguable that Joe Biden is simply not in the position to be able to beat Trump. Now, of course, something that we are going to dive into even further as we go on in this issue um, Joe Biden should have never been allowed to get to this point to begin with. We know that this isn't the beginning of his struggles. We know uh, that he has been uh, completely tanking his reputation with the youth vote, which is very important for him. Uh, in this election in particular, the youth vote in this election in particular is very important when he is neck and neck against Trump with older voters. He needs that boost from the youth vote, and Joe Biden has been alienating the youth vote um, with his uh, 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 deranged policies towards Gaza. Um, his, his public gaffes have been a, a genuine disaster. Uh, but this isn't the beginning. He should have never been allowed to get to this point. The fact that we are just a few months before the election itself and there is now a panic within the Democratic Party as morale collapses in, and I, I want to say this is what the Democratic Party says. It is the most important election of our lives. Democracy is literally on the line. They say that Donald Trump is, uh, is America's Adolf Hitler, which, by the way, I believe those things. I do believe that this election is likely to be one of the most impactful in all of our lifetimes. I do believe that Donald Trump is America's Adolf Hitler. I do also believe 
um, that uh, that what remains of American democracy. I'll put a little asterisk on that one because I think American democracy has been uh, on its last legs for a very long time and never fully existed in the fullest. But what remains of it is in great danger. But if the if the if the Democratic Party believes that, why did they allow this to happen? And the answer, of course, is gross, selfish, narcissistic uh, uh, malpractice in the upper leadership of the Democratic Party. A party that does not have the machinery necessary to uh, address its own problems, to listen to its electorate, uh, and still ultimately falls to the exact same things that allowed the Republican Party to go the way that it has. The Democratic Party is struggling with a stubborn and selfish personality in the same way that the Republican Party is. Isn't that interesting that these gigantic, supposedly de you know, democratic structures in America fall so easily to the influence of a central figure who can just say, well, no, Jack, I'm not stepping down. Deranged. Kenneth Allen Cook says, honestly, Gavin Newsom should have been announced as a nominee last year, like in mid-2023. That's what should have happened. I'm not even, I don't even believe that they needed to have, like, immediately choose another nominee. It makes sense that they would want to work with an incumbent because incum being an incumbent president gives you an advantage in most elections. But the reality is that there was nothing. There has been... It's not just that Joe Biden is falling apart. It's that Joe Biden is falling apart, that he has set up no air, that they have built no infrastructure whatsoever within their party to, to, to preserve the, uh, the, you know, a non-Republican, non-Donald Trump agenda. There's nothing. They had nothing to deal with the Supreme Court. They have nothing to deal with the, uh, the, the, uh, with the lack of, a, of, a, of air apparent to the party. They have no way of even setting up alternatives. They crushed their own primary. They've, they've completely crushed the voices of their own, vo of their own voters, especially young voters. It's absurd. It's, it's deranged, frankly. Joe Biden and the Democratic Party are the only people to blame for this situation. Liberals and leftists of many types have said that they don't feel comfortable with the current situation within the Democratic Party, that there, that there have been great concerns about Joe Biden being able to actually run against Trump. You all know, those who watch me know that I've been talking about this issue for a long time. There have been tons of us, okay? There have been tons of us. And the Democratic Party uh, just does not have the, the structure necessary to uh, deal with any of this. It is getting bowled over by Donald Trump and his authoritarian agenda. And right now, as a result, you and everyone you know is staring down the barrel of a Trump presidency in which Trump has complete control of two of the branches of government and potentially three, okay? The Supreme Court is, for the rest of our lifetimes, barring some sort of very serious radical action on the part of a future president, is, it, is going to be, uh, 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 it is going to be a Republican, and what's worse, a fundamentalist uh, right-wing court. The presidency, Donald Trump is going to do everything to make sure that Democrats can never get the presidency again. That has been outlined in every single one of Donald Trump's agendas, that they intend to dismantle dis democracy as we know it. And of course, Joe Biden clinging to the ticket, even when he has COVID, clinging to the ticket, even as his numbers plummet, even as he has gaff after public gaff, of which we are going to watch in just a few minutes, Joe Biden clinging to the ticket is starting to hurt Hit the the candidates that are running for Democrats in the Senate and and uh, and House of Representatives, 
which means that Joe Biden might not just take down the presidency with him, he might also take the Congress down with him. Now, that's some, that's some real rotten shit to think about. Joe Biden needs to step down now. And it is more important. If you all are wondering why my video talking about Joe Biden and getting COVID and all that is coming out before I put out a video or a stream segment talking about the assassination attempt against Donald Trump, this is the reason why. Because it is more important that Joe Biden does the right thing and takes the steps necessary to win against Donald Trump than anything that happened to Donald Trump. And people need to get the... Democrats need to get their wits about them and get to work. I'm talking Democrats at all level, okay? I'm talking anybody who cares about this issue should be willing to put pressure everywhere and say pu publicly, I'm not, I'm not here for this Joe Biden ruining the future for all of us thing. The heat needs to go up on Biden. Oh my God. I'm sick of Elon Musk and his rich buddies trying to buy this election. If you agree, pitch in here. That is holy moly, dude. That is trash. More fundraising? Okay, hold on. I just need to, let me just show you. Have you guys seen the Joe Biden? The, the, the Joe Biden official campaign website is just a march of give us money, give us money. Donald Trump chose J.D. Vance as running mace. Give us money. Here, sign up. Give us money. Donate. Donate by mail. Work with us. Donate by mail. Donate. 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 Store. Donate. They don't even have a platform up here. Oh, they finally added issues. They added an issues page. Oh my God. They finally did it. We finally got an issues page. Let's count the donations on the homepage here. Donate ad splash page, donate at the top, a store, donate, take action by donating or volunteering, sign up so you can donate and volunteer. Then we got another store link, we got another donate, we got another donate by mail, we got an ad over here that's saying donate by mail. And now we got Joe Biden advertising for more donations to his campaign as he announces that he has COVID. Actually, the, like, I cannot state just the level, I, I, I don't even have the words for the level of political malpractice that Joe Biden and his rotten DNC have brought to us. I want you to understand that every horror that they talk about with, Joe, with, uh, with Donald Trump Every horror that they talk about, the Republican Party bringing upon Americans, bringing upon immigrants, bringing upon trans people, all of those, the current ruling power is Joe Biden, and he is doing nothing. They can't dream of anything to do. Stupid clickbait is what they've got. They've got skibbity Biden. Just un unbelievable. You would think, I don't know, if you were the president of the United States of America and Donald Trump's hand-picked court said, hey, guess what? Uh, we just ruled that a, a president can do basically anything they want and face no liability. And your response was just, go, well, you know, it's real bad. Make sure you donate some money to me. Like, is that, is that, is that what you would dream of in that situation? Because I wouldn't. I'd be cooking up some crazy shit to counteract that. All, all the more reason now to pay attention to what I have been telling people on this platform for the entire history of my time as a streamer, which is that the Democratic Party is not and cannot save you. They are not, they are not built to save you. All of you out there listening right now who are worried, all of you out there who are scared, the Democratic Party has not and is not going to help you from that. What will is reaching out into the world and taking political power for yourself. 
connecting with others, understanding your understanding what skills and talents you have and how they can be put to work, building structures of power and resilience that can make that can make you resistant to uh, aggressive government. And there are a lot of them. The government at the absolute best of times uh, is in shambles, can barely keep the roads fixed, okay? And under Donald Trump, we've witnessed how uh, as, as aggressive and evil as the government is capable of being, how many holes it has in its nets that it is not able to squeeze as hard as they want you to think. That together, we can take care of each other and keep each other alive. We are the ones who can take care of one another. We have the ability to engage in political power that isn't just giving everything that we have away to the Democratic Party that does not give a fucking shit, okay? We, what we are witnessing right now is irrefutable proof that the Democratic Party with, I, just, I just, just want you to think about the scale of money and human effort that is in the Democratic Party. Right now, all of it is being lit on fire because Joe Biden wants to make I'm sick, ooh-woo jokes. There are millions of people volunteering, millions of people giving money to the Democratic Party so that you can get a tweet that says, I'm sick of Elon Musk, give me more money, as Joe Biden torpedoes his own election attempt against the most dangerous president that we've seen in our lifetime. It is a simple fact, okay? And I need you all, everyone who hears this, everyone who's watching, okay? It is a simple fact that the Democratic Party is not a structure that will save you. There is one option. Accept that fact and learn as best as you can, in every way that you can, what political power you and the people that you are connected to actually have. What can you do? How can you, with your own hands, reach out and touch the world? What can you change yourself? And there are so many answers to that question. I regularly bring up how important it is to help people of minority groups get to safety, how that uh, personally taking your time, resources, money, whatever, and putting it towards people who need to survive can ensure that a person who will resist alongside you will live another day. That swells the numbers of people resisting the most rotten aspects of our broken government. I've talked numerous times, and I will again in the future, how we are stronger when we have a network, how taking the time right now when we see something dangerous on the horizon, taking the time right now to connect with one another, to start building real friendships and alliances that can help us in times of need. Connecting locally. These are, these are things that you can do right now, that you can begin to do right now. And there are things I can't even dream of, things that only you are capable of. If you are watching right now, you have skills and talents that can be put to uses I can't even know because I don't know you. You might go, hey, I have this skill. I bet there's people who need it. This isn't the first time that the Democratic Party has derelicted its duty. It's not the first time in your lifetimes that the government has derelicted its duty. We all lived through Trump. If you're here watching, you lived through Trump the first time. And the government uh, was derelicting its duty. And people still survived and took care of each other and stayed strong together and will do it again. This time it's more important, but also we have some experience this time. We have people who've learned. We have new people who are awakened to the problem at hand. I am worried that there is a very good chance that we're going to end up with a Donald Trump presidency. And because of that, I want to advocate to the people who watch my show, to the people who talk to people, to the people who, who, who go out Watch my show and then go out into the world and talk to other people. I want to advocate that all of you get people thinking about how they can have a political impact that is above and beyond just waiting for the Dems to do something that they are incapable of doing, that they are demonstrating 
every day right now down to this very moment where Joe Biden is, is tweeting, I have COVID for Elon Musk not getting giving money to Donald Trump, give more money to Joe Biden. We can have tenacity. We can push beyond this. We do not have to wait on this party that is incapable of helping us. Anyway, for now, for this section, thanks for watching. For those of you that are watching live, we're about to talk about some of Joe Biden's recent appearances, and that should be a lot of fun. So keep watching. Make sure that you uh, like and comment down below. Thank you so much.